हेलो माई डियर फैमिली मेम्बर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव रजिस्टर्ड फॉर कॉन्जेंट एंड यू हैव टेक्निकल एग्जाम विद इन वेरी फ्यू डेज सो एज यू नो फॉर क्लस्टर वन एंड क्लस्टर थ्री देर विल बी एच टी एम एल सी एस एस जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड दिस विल प्ले अ मेजर रोल ओके सो दिस विल इम्पैक्ट इन योर ओवरऑल सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस सो प्लीज वॉच केयरफुली आई एम गिंग टू शेयर एच टी एम एल सी एस एस जावा स्क्रिप्ट रिसेंट कोडिंग क्वेश्चन ओके सो बेसिकली फ्रॉम क्लस्टर वन यू विल बी हैविंग जावा क्वेश्चन देन टू जावा क्वेश्चन देन यू विल हैव एन सी एस क्यू एल देन एच टी एम एल सी एस एस जावा स्क्रिप्ट वन कोडिंग क्वेश्चन okay and for cluster 3 as well first uh, cluster 3 c sharp will be there instead of java and then um yeah and csql then you have html css javascript okay so for these both cluster guys this is very important and why this session will be very important because this i am going to cover actually the recent questions okay and that can that can be repeated okay so let me just start with the um, question so the question is yeah so the question is this uh shown to the screen i hope this is visible to you guys so uh yeah before just reading guys if you have not subscribed this channel then please do it because this motivates me to make more content and it motivates me to be more hard working and smart working as well so please do that and so you be hard guys okay so what is the question that is uh, yeah regarding password related so you are given a task in your college group project to add validation in the password fields files of a form the form has three fields first name password and retype password your task is to complete the html css javascript code to implement the following objectives so what are the objectives you have to fulfill right so let's say in uh, this portion in html css javascript coding they have given you total uh, let's say 10 marks okay so out of this 10 marks all objectives will have separate marks so let's say it is it having 3 it's having 3 it's having 4 so this way they can uh, like separate the marks okay so you have to achieve all objectives one by one let's say if you are not able to solve full code at least try to fulfill these two validation only one validation at least okay so i hope you understood and one very important thing that is uh, like most of the time they ask uh, html css javascript full code but sometimes they ask mcq questions uh, from these so that will be obviously very easy but still still be prepared for both scenario that you may have been asked for like mcq also that you can be asked from a uh, broad question as well to write a code okay so let me just start with the objective so what are the objectives that is create a button with id submit that will call password from a uh, form validation this is the function which uh, when clicked on it okay so given a border radius of 5 pixel to all the input tags and the third is regarding first name is to be made a mandatory field if the field remains empty the html content of the paragraph tag with id demo should be updated with the appropriate message first name has to be entered okay so these three validation you have to fulfill oh there is another validation that is, that is this so your project requires to check the values of password and retype password fails to be exactly same in case the values after then i think you have to mainly check if the password and retype passwords are same or not so this is the main thing uh, here we have to validate okay so let me show you the sample input that is this so i hope this is visible to you guys so let me just uh, mm, ah. so first name so what's the condition for that there is nothing for that first name okay so mainly the objective is for the password and retype password okay and for the border radius so uh, let me just put anything if we can then password let's say please subscribe okay so it should be matched okay uh pass uh, subscribe it should be matched okay if not matched then there should be a proper message so let me just click on it password do not match so this is a proper message okay and ubk so this is a mandatory field it let me check that so let me just submit it first name has to be entered so first first name is a mandatory field so this is also you have to fulfill so and also the border radius and the function should be there in your code okay so i hope you wants to do what is the task is so the task is to mainly to um, make this uh, form 
first name password retype password and submit button should be there and first name should be mandatory and password retype password the both fields should be same and there should be a function uh, for validation in the scenario and there should be the uh, the there should be a border radius of 5 pixel for all the input tags and yeah, id demo should be also written in your code so this is the things you have to be very careful guys so basically in this type of question uh, similar patterns will be followed so if you can solve this problem then you can solve any type of problem okay so let me show you the uh, the type of code lab editor we will be provided that is uh, in this case html there will be a separate file css there will be separate file and for js there will be separate file so you have to create a separate three uh, html css and javascript files and you have to include those css and js file in your html page so i hope you want to okay so for uh, practicing you can use the replete okay replete website uh, to practice and if you guys want if you guys want a uh, full solutions then i want you to have the most loved most trusted prime materials for cognizant in which you will get all the recent aptitude questions dotnet java python coding questions with answers then sql html css javascript communication assessment help live uh, exams help available there and mock test free mock test and interview experience everything is available as you can see students are giving us this feedbacks 4.4 stars and also you can see this is the feedback students are giving and let me show you what type of pdfs you will get so if you purchase this type of multiple pdfs you will get and uh, you can see this is the question and explanation are given also previous year questions recent questions and also screenshots of actual questions are available there so please visit topmentio slash techno underscore uf there you will get all the materials at a bunch okay so the link will be given in the description box please go through that so let me share the answer if you have already written your code so then it's very appreciate uh, I, I appreciate your effort so let me just start with the explanation actually i have already uploaded this video like uh, i have already uploaded solutions earlier but still i'm solving it because i am showing you the importance of this code of these questions of this type of questions okay so let me start so actually uh, this format will be provided already in your code editor so just let me start from the body okay so you have to create a form right so form tag you have to use so password form uh, it can be given anything it is not mentioned in your code but id demo that should be mentioned exactly same as mentioned in the question okay so that is the requirement right so that's why so level i if you, like uh let me just know guys how much proficiency do you have actually i'm just assuming that you know basic of html CSS, javascript so that's why i'm just skipping few of the uh, like uh like i'm assuming that you know few right so that's why i'm teaching that way okay so, like let me know how much do you have proficiency so that i can level up and level down according to the requirement okay so level uh, for first name so at first this is for first name so level is used basically to write this one okay and for this input field we have to input an input tag okay enter an input tag there we have to mention that as a type text and id first name as you can like as whatever you want okay and name first name then uh, then we are just writing br break uh, tags so that we can have some uh, space between two tag to uh, name or to field okay then another level that is for password and another level for retype password okay but there at the end uh, before ending we have one paragraph tag with id demo and why this is important because this is mentioned in your question so this should be mentioned and as you can see this is blank so why blank i'm just going to tell you because here we are going to show a dynamic uh, error message if if the name is not entered then will show an error message dynamically and if the password does not match then we will show 
a message dynamically here inside this paragraph tag okay using the javascript so, so uh, that's why it is blank as of now so, and there is a button tag we have to create this is mentioned in your code so button type is equal to button so this is what you have to mention and id submit and on click this password uh, function this function password form validation this function should be there because this, this is what they will judge okay so at the end you have to include the javascript as this script src is equal to script.js and we have to write the function implementation inside this file okay and also we have to implement like include the css file here so link rel is equal to style sheet href is equal to styles.css so this file should be uh, written outside of this file so that's why you have to include this okay so uh, guys one thing i have one question for you uh please give in the comment section as like this is an interview question why we include css at header level and we include javascript at the bottom why so please give the answer in the comment section i'll appreciate your effort okay so uh let me just write the css uh the very small portion of the css are required because they have just mentioned that the border radius should be five pixel so that's why just write this and these are all uh, additionally i have done you, you can ignore okay and then inside the script.js file you have to write this function implementation so function then password from validation this way you should write the code to initiate a function then where first name so this is the way to initialize a variable okay then document dot get element by id so we are getting the access of this first name id so as you can see inside this file we have given the id for first name as uh first name right first name id has this id first name so we we'll just are uh, targeting this uh first name uh uh tag okay and dot value that means we are getting the value entered by the user okay so as soon as the user will enter any first name here any first name here that will be stored inside that particular variable first name okay inside this first name the very uh, value will be inserted and then where password as soon as so document dot get element by id password so the same way we are targeting that particular password field password ta uh, tag right and as soon as we enter dot value it is storing the value from the uh, from the form the user is inputting okay so after that retype password is also being inserted the same way then we are writing where message is equal to document dot get element by id demo so we are just getting access here as you can see we are not writing dot value because we are just getting the access of this demo what is the demo that is the paragraph tag we have entered so here we are just getting access to write something uh, later one okay so just as of now we have written uh, like we have we have just got the access okay then we are checking if the first name is equal to is equal to uh, the blank if it is equal to blank then uh, message dot in our html so this way we are inserting this message first name has to be entered okay so if the first name is blank so what is the difference between double equal and triple equal in javascript please write this answer in the comment section guys this is very important uh interview questions and that is being asked in interview of cognizant okay so please give the answer in the comment section so message dot in dot html so this message it was blank right we have just got access to the paragraph tag now we are entering a uh, few things few uh strings or few uh like statements inside that so in message dot in html is equal to first name has to be entered so if this is the condition then this is to be shown okay then if if password is not matching with the retype password then we have to enter this as well message dot in html so this is the function which enable us to enter this uh, string inside that paragraph tag okay so password do not match so that is being inserted inserted inside this okay 
so how this is being inserted i'm just going to show you okay so message.nrhtml is equal to form submitted successfully if if this has not been uh, like if this has been executed then it is not true if this has not been executed then it is true okay so let me just check that so uvk right uh, this is my first name and this is the password one two three okay and retype password one two three so let me let, let me submit that and as you can see form submitted successfully this has been populated okay and if i have not entered ubk then it will so first name has to be entered okay and uh, let's say i have entered anything here and the password is not matching then it should so password do not match and uh, let's say uh, there can be another scenario and that is so what uh, okay let me just show one thing uh, let me just inspect that as you can see uh, the code i have written in html there the paragraph tag is empty as of now sorry as of now it is written but let me just reload so as you can see this is blank okay paragraph tag is blank but as soon as we write something we write something let me just submit it and let me show see form submitted successfully so basically 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 what happened that is it is taking this paragraph tag dynamically okay so one i i have done one mistake that is i have not made it made it uh, like a mandatory to enter the password and retype password okay so i am just giving you this task that please make this field password and retype password as mandatory okay so i hope you will do guys for ending the video i want you to solve this problem because this type of coding questions this type of html css questions will be provided to you to solve this okay and as i have told you earlier you don't have to solve full problem that means not the full html not the full css not the full js you have to write you have to write few lines of codes for html you have to include only two to three lines for css you have to include only two to three lines and for js you have to write a simple logic inside a for loop or inside the functions you will be provided the full code snippet just you have to write few things okay so this type of questions will be given to you so please try to pause the video and try to give the answer this will be quick question and i'm going to give you one important question which was asked in the real exam okay what's that let me just tell you so create a web page with a button every time the button is clicked web page with a button every time the button is clicked the counter should be increased by one and display the updated value on the screen sample output like let's say this will be counter this is the level of text and this is the count okay and if this is the button click me if you are clicking on it the count will be increased by one again if you click uh, like if you are clicking three times then the counter should be three okay so this is a very simple html CSS javascript code and very honestly this code was asked so if you can solve this problem then you can solve in the real exam as well so ne next question will be like this change background color and this was literally asked in the question in the exam show the question is create a web page where clicking a button changes the background color randomly each time okay what's the sample input that is let's say initial screen is white background if you click anywhere in the screen then it will be blue background again if you click on the screen then it will be yellow background changes randomly in every click on any any place of the screen if you click then it will be changed randomly so this will be two quiz question for you so please guys give the answer in the comment section so that you can solve the problem by yourself in the exam okay and uh, if you like this video guys please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and again i'm requesting you to have the prime materials of cognizant or any company that you want in which you will get all the recent questions with answers all the previous questions we have plan victory where you will get top 15 mnc's questions we have plan lord here you will be getting 25 mnc's questions with answers from aptitude round to hr round everything available okay and there you are getting one opportunity of a coupon code it only cost 540 but if you apply coupon code techno underscore uf or techno uf then probably you will getting 10 to 50 percent off okay so please go through top slash techno underscore uf to grab the opportunity okay so thank you for the session